Be encouraged this year with these new books available by Doctor in Theology with Evangelism Strategies, Leon Cabaselli. What would you do, if you knew the secret of prayer? Get your copy today, of How to Pray, by Dr. Evangelist Leon Cabaselli. If you knew who you are, you know what you can do. Get the book, Jesus Christ is My God, by Dr. Evangelist Leon Cabaselli. The book, Christian Development, God Came as Human Being by Dr. Evangelist Leon Cabaselli. Christian Philosophy, Understanding Racial Oppression. These are the academic Christian books to help those who want to learn about Christianity. These are the books that can help people to grow spiritual rather than physically. Leon Cabaselli does his research in theology as a Christian scholar, and one of his research is based on evangelism strategies, and this is what made him to become a doctor in theology, with evangelism strategies as his main subject. Take some time to walk through, author Leon Cabaselli shelves of inspirational reads. Here are four books for daily inspiration and spiritual growth. These books can be bought from www.amazon.com http www.amazon.com or go to any Google just type Leon Cabasili. So much for tuning in today to the gospel from the strippers pole. Welcome. Today I have my husband with me, Poppy. And today we're actually speaking in reference to a word that I think I never wanted to um, have in my life. I never prayed for it, <laughs> but it was something that kind of came with the territory as you grow. And the word was patience. Yeah, which I lacked. <laughs> and sometimes still lack, right? Yes. But you know, I think as we mature in life, as we get older in life, it becomes a requirement. You know that um, things don't always come out immediately. Some things is just like having a good chili. I like to make chili. And it doesn't, you can't quick cook chili. It's a slow cooking process. And when you add the ingredients, you know, you have to let it simmer, you have to let it sit, you have to let, you add, add everything at a different time. But when it's all done, it's phenomenal. And it normally it tastes better the next day once that's your season soak in as you always say it tastes better the next day and that's because you've allowed it that time to get to the place of where it should be and you didn't rush the process well, anything with a good ending basically requires patience oh yeah and you learn that as you go along and then one of the things that we recognize in our bible study because we our bible study contains a lot of younger um, adults mm -hmm. And one of the things that I noticed is that whenever there was a problem or a question that came up, the way the youngsters would deal with it, they, their immediate reaction was just that, they react. Mm -hmm. Instead of letting things play out, they reacted to every situation, every scenario. And in that case, it just went from bad to worse. Mm -hmm. I've learned along the way because I did the same thing myself, but I learned along the way take your time, mm -hmm. get your right, dust off, and just keep it going, and let the Lord do the rest for you. I like the word you said about letting it play out. Yes. You know, we, <laughs> you know, I always do analogies. I'm really bad about that. I've got a, I got an analogy for everything. And you know, we like to watch a lot of movies. Right. And we go yes. to the movies a lot. Yes. And, and Poppy Serious. can't stand to go, yes, I like comedy. But Poppy don't like going to the movies with me because I talk through the whole movie. Mm -hmm. And it's because I'm constantly trying to think to the next step. I'm really bad about that. And so I see him go in a room. You know what? It's going to be such and such in that room. And I, but if you just let it play out, it'll show you what it is. That's a perfect example. And that's life, right? If you just let it play out, you don't have to guess what's going to happen. It'll show you, right? When you go to Isaiah 40, 31, very popular scripture. Matter of fact, I think I did uh, when we were talking about um, waiting. You know, I did a segment on waiting. And we were talking about, but they that wait. They will destroy many people. They will destroy many Christians. Look at now today, the Christians don't want to pray anymore. They start worrying about the economies. They start worrying about the wars. Those all kind of things are kind of the destruction, the sickness. Look at now, my brother and sister. We've got now the sickness around the world. We've got the sun flu. We've got the economy crisis. We've got the, um, the wars across the world, my Lord. Oh, hallelujah. I'm 
to tell you the truth. The Lord Jesus Christ is about to come. Those kind of things, it should come before the Messiah arrives, my brother. I'm telling you the truth. Don't worry about your business. Don't worry about your thing. Don't worry about your, your, your thing. You just Focus on Lord Jesus Christ because he said himself and not you before you were born. In the book of, uh, in the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 1, in verse 3 to 4, he said that I know you before you were born. You were somebody. Jesus Christ knows you. Jesus Christ knows you are about to get the job. Jesus Christ knows about your churches. Jesus Christ knows about your ministry. Don't worry, my brother. Many churches today, yeah, they bring up uh, the Antichrist into the churches uh, without realizing uh, they have already got the mark of the beast, uh, but they don't realize uh, the Lord said uh, it's about to come. Uh, you pastor, if you know in your church there is an uh, antichrist, uh, be ready to come out of it because the Lord is coming. Don't worry about the economy. Don't worry about your family. Don't worry about your church members because the Lord said his word uh, made a, a man, uh, his word uh, created all things. Uh, be prepared, my brother and sisters. Be prepared. Get ready to change your life. Get ready to preach the truth. Get ready to do not the wrong thing. Go ready to not to commit the adultery in your ministry. Be encouraged this year with these new books available by Doctor in Theology with Evangelism Strategies, Leon Cabaselli. What would you do if you knew the secret of prayer? Get your copy today of How to Pray by Doctor Evangelist Leon Cabaselli. If you knew who you are, you know what you can do. Get the book. Jesus Christ is My God, by Dr. Evangelist Leon Cabasili. The book, Christian Development, God Came as Human Being by Dr. Evangelist Leon Cabasili. Christian Philosophy, Understanding Racial Oppression. These are the academic Christian books to help those who want to learn about Christianity. These are the books that can help people to grow spiritual rather than physically. Leon Cabasili does his research in theology as a Christian scholar, and one of his research is based on evangelism strategies, and this is what made him to become a doctor in theology, with evangelism strategies as his main subject. Take some time to walk through, author Leon Cabasili shelves of inspirational reads. Here are four books for daily inspiration and spiritual growth. These books can be bought from www.amazon.com http www.amazon.com or go to any Google just type Leon Cabasili.